Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Nothing like being up on the parkway, smoking a nice cigar. About time for a cool beverage. What do you think? I think so. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, I've not had anything from these guys. Andre sent a couple of bottles uh, from this brewery, and I'm probably going to butcher the name of Figuera Mountain Brewing Company. This is their Hoppy Poppy IPA, ale brewed with poppy seeds. Uh, it says here on the bottle, it is a light-bodied West Coast India Pale Ale featuring Centennial, Cascade, and Simcoe hops. I love all three of those hops, guys. And poppy seeds. Poppy seeds! Like Figuera Mountain in May, this brew is bursting with a bouquet of floral, citrusy hop flavors and aromas. Uh, I don't see any dating on the bottle. And that's a big... Uh, that's a big no-no for an IPA as far as I'm concerned, guys. We'll take a closer look at the bottle, but I don't remember seeing anything when I got the beer mail. And I don't see anything on the label or anything digitized on the bottle. So, uh, if they're going to get into the uh, IPA game, you know how I feel about that, guys. Especially on a beer that's 6.5%. Uh, uh, the IBUs, they say here on uh, great beer, is uh, 65 so it's not shouldn't be too awful bitter. So we're gonna find out. Like I said, I've not had anything from these guys before. So uh, this will be the first time. So Andre, thanks for uh, for sending those beers to me. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, commercial description on this beer: Hoppy Poppy IPA is identified by its intense hop bitterness, flavor, and aroma. The brilliant appearance and dry texture of this IPA is reminiscent of a fine Santa. Ynez, Y-N-E-Z, probably not has, probably Santa Nez, the Y, probably silent, I'm not sure there, guys. Uh, Valley Chardonnay, and is the master brewer's favorite vintage. Very nice. All right, uh, food pairings for this beer. It's an IPA, this is going to be your typical IPA pairings. Cuisine is curry and Thai. Cheese with pepper, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue, cheddar. Your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola Limburger. Meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. And I will add grilled meat to that category because I like my IPAs with just about everything that comes off the grill. So, uh, not recommended for extended cellaring. And the glass bar is a pint, Becker, Nonic, Tumbler, the Mug, Steiner, Seidel. I've got the pint glass today, guys. So, without further ado, let's check out what Andre has sent us here today. We have no idea how old the beer is. And Andre, you may post in the uh, comments whether you bought this at the brewery or at a beer store or, or you know, because if you bought it at a beer store, it's hard to tell how long it's sat on the shelf. So, with that being said, let's get a nose on in here in just a second. It is a nice amber color, a lot of bubbles streaming up, uh, about a half a finger of head on there. Looks pretty good in the glass. Now we get the nose on it. It's got a floral hop uh, presence. I would not. Ca I would not call this a West Coast style. It has not got that in-your-face hops. But that may be attributed to the date. I mean, we don't know how old it is. If it's set on the shelf, if this beer is six months or older, it's going to lose that in-your-face hoppiness. Nice malty background, uh, backbone on it. I am getting quite a bit of, of, uh, of maltiness to it. And basically it's, it's, it's like a, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say a uh, European style IPA, but uh, to me it, 
for Simcoe hops and Centennial and Cascade, that, that hop presence is not there, guys. Well, let's give it a taste and see what we got. <clears throat> A very subdued IPA. Definitely not what I would consider in a West Coast style. I'm not getting any alcohol. Big malt background and floral herbal hops instead of the West Coast in your face pineapple grapefruity hops. Not a bad beer. I would consider this maybe a good transitional beer for somebody that's not tried an IPA before. The bitterness is, uh, is not overwhelming in the beer. It does have a little bit on the back end. With 65 IBUs, it's a little elevated, but it's not like it's 100 or, or more IBUs on this beer, so it's not super bitter. But usually you don't get into that kind of IBUs unless it's a double. And this is not just six and a half percent, so it's a single. It's definitely, like I said, not a West Coast style to me. Now that may be attributed, like I said, to the age of the beer. With no dating on the bottle, how are we to know? So Andre, you may post, uh, like I said, uh, whether you bought this at a beer store at the brewery or, or, or what. So uh, these guys uh, that are getting in into the, uh, the IPAs, these craft brewers, they don't take the time to date their stuff. They're going to fall by the wayside as far as I'm concerned. And unless they step up to the plate and start dating either the label or somewhere on the bottle, this stuff will continue to sit on the shelves and people will pick up more flavorful stuff that has been dated, like a stone, enjoy by, or something like that, guys. So, uh, not bad. Not getting any alcohol. A decent beer. But nothing outstanding. So let's let it warm up a hair and share the other half with the other half. And uh, we'll come back and do the final chug and grade on this one. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left. Let's step it on. It's probably about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. Now that it's warmed up, <clears throat> the poppy seeds are giving it almost like a rye quality. It's, uh, it's got a nice, uh, I'm going to call it a rye characteristic and uh, a little bit of spiciness to it. So, uh, almost tastes like a rye beer now that it's warmed up. But still, I double checked the bottle. There is no dating whatsoever, so we don't have any idea how old the beer is. So, it's definitely not, as they say, a West Coast style beer. The, the hops that they use should have a big pungent in your face style. And, and, and it's not there. I mean, it's definitely. Uh, to me, it tastes more like it's got Saws or Kent Goldings or something like that, a, a more floral, herbal hop presence to it. And that could be attributed to the age of the beer, which we don't we don't have any idea what that is. So, that being said, let's do the final chug. It's a decent beer. The alcohol is well hidden. But it's definitely not a West Coast style beer in my opinion. It's my opinion now. Uh, without a dating, we have no idea. So with that being said, uh, Andre, I, I do appreciate you sending the beer. Uh, it's not your fault. It doesn't have a date. I've not had anything from them, so I, uh, I was glad to try it. But uh, for them to have West Coast style written on it, uh, it is definitely not into that aspect. And that, like I said, guys, it could be attributed to the age of the beer. And without that date, we have no idea. So without me harping on that over and over and over again, I'm going to give it, I don't think it's an A beer. Uh, it may be when it's fresh, but it's not now. So we're not knowing the freshness. We have no idea. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6, which is a B. I don't think it's quite to the A category. I don't think it's a B plus beer. Uh, I'm going to give it to B. It's definitely above average beer. It's a nice tasty beer. I would consider it a good transitional beer at this stage, uh, depending on how old it is. But uh, it's definitely not uh, to, the, uh, to the degree of a stone enjoy by or something like that. It's a really super in your face style of hops. So, with that being said, let's see what everybody else thinks. Let's go over to 
Beer Advocate and Beer Advocate says 86 in their very good range. Well, if I'd say very good, but it is a good beer. It's 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 a nice tasty beer, but uh, it's not a West Coast style to me. Just my opinion now, guys. Over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 88 overall and 75 in the style. Uh, 88 might be a generous number. If I was to put a, a numeric rating on it, it would probably be between 83 and 85. So, and 75 in the style. With them saying it's a West Coast style, I'm down with that number. I would agree with that 100%. It's a good beer, but it's not a West Coast style beer in my opinion. I've had East Coast beers that have more hoppy presence than this does. So, That being said, if you've had this one from Fig Figueroa Mountain Hoppy Poppy IPA, let me know what you think. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow, guys. See you then.